With their adaptability and versatility, it's no wonder potatoes are a fan favorite. Baked, mashed, diced, or scalloped, no matter how you slice it, from potato chips to french fries and almost anything in between, the potato has been a staple of our diet throughout history and today. And there's no denying, we have a special love affair with these spuds. You know, on average, each of us will actually eat 135 pounds of potatoes a year and in a wide variety of forms. In fact, potatoes are the leading vegetable crop in the United States, with annual total production being about 41 billion pounds. And they've been a staple at Ron Lair's family farm since the 1930s. This third generation farmer grows more than 2,500 acres of the vegetable just outside of Bakersfield and knows just what to look for in a perfect potato. Looking for a good potato, it depends on the variety that you're looking for. It's, uh, as long as they're nice and, nice and firm, and not getting soft and dehydrated. Kern County, where Ron's spuds grow, is actually California's largest potato growing region. The tubers love the hot days and cool nights the area offers, which is also why Brian Kirschman's family started farming here a century ago. Well, we're a family business. Um, our family's been growing potatoes for over 100 years in California. Ludwig Kirschman's probably, it, rumor has it, Ludwig Kirschman's brought one of the first potato crops to California before the turn of the century. Brian grows about 4,500 acres of potatoes at his family farm, but unlike Ron, he grows smaller potatoes that are called chippers, which are used mostly for potato chips and french fries. So what makes a good chipper? What makes a good chipper is actually um, low sugar. You know, when you um, caramelize something in the, um, in your, with a frying pan, it turns brown. So people don't like brown potato chips, I don't know why, so that means it's high sugar content, so we've got to have low sugar in order to make them cook white. The potatoes are harvested and brought here to the processing facility where they are washed, sorted, and even tasted too. To make sure the chipping potatoes have just the right amount of sugar for their customers, Brian fries some of his potatoes up to see how they cook. Thus, the wall of potato chips. Oh, it's just as because when you um, send a potato, load of potatoes and it cooks dark, you get the load of potatoes back. So it's, um, quality control to make sure you don't lose money. The potatoes are then trucked out and distributed to a variety of fast food chains and large food processors, including Lay's potato chips, as well as smaller distributors like California chips in Oxnard. These potatoes were in the ground in Bakersfield 24 hours ago. We get them in every day. If they come in in the afternoon, they were picked that very same day or dug that very same day. And as you can see, they're beautiful white potatoes very thin skins, we leave the skins on, and these make great potato chips. After arrival, the potatoes are dumped from the hopper and moved into the slicer where they are sliced to a specific thickness. Then they move through a water bath before passing under air jets that remove excess water as they flow into the fryer. here for a couple of minutes as paddles gently distribute them in contact with the oil evenly. They are removed, cooled, salted, flavored, and then passed through a computer to check for any imperfections. Then they are sent onto their journey into a bag that will hopefully find its way to a store near you soon. I eat at least a bag a day. I walk it off. They go through about 50,000 pounds of Kern County potatoes a day at California Chips but each one is needed because it takes about 100 pounds of potatoes to make just 25 pounds of potato chips. <laughs> That's no small potatoes.